Hey guys, welcome back to another Gear & Style unboxing. Uh, today's video is going to be a double unboxing. I had originally meant to do this as two separate videos, uh, but I've been quite busy and I just hadn't gotten around to it. I've been uh, sitting on these for about a month and a half already. Uh, this is a brand that I have not had personal experience with, uh, but I've heard tons of great reviews. And then I have a new uh, pair from Thursday, which is a brand that I, uh, I love and I have a couple of pairs from them already. Uh, so let's get started. All right, so we're gonna get started with the Mirman. Let's put those aside for a minute. As I mentioned, this is a brand that I have not had personal experience with, but I've heard tons of great reviews and I've been wanting to get myself a pair of these. And as I mentioned in my last video that I've been trying to uh, get a few more pairs of loafers uh, into my collection. So I thought, why not another pair? You know, you can't have enough loafers, uh, especially here in Austin where it's hot most of the time. So this is the Polo Suede Loafer uh, from Mirman. And I think that these are amazing. Uh, they are uh, Goodyear welted. Uh, this is a blind stitch. They call this a blind stitch. Uh, and what it is is that they split the sole, they fold it over, they carve the channel, uh, they stitch it, and then they fold it back over to hide those stitches and then uh, glue it all back together so it's a seamless um, stitch. So this is a uh, UK size nine and a half, which is equivalent about a 10 and a half. Um, but um, also I wanted to get uh, a suede because I don't really have that many shoes uh, in my collection that are suede. So uh, I, man, these are so beautiful. Just the quality to, uh, to price ratio, uh, it's amazing. And this is what I've been hearing so much in all of the reviews that I've seen uh, so far. You know, it's hard to find this type of attention to detail in a $400 uh, uh, price range, let alone a $200 price range, uh, which is where these land. Most of their shoes are $195. They have uh, a few boots that are really, really nice, and they're only like, uh, if I'm not mistaken, about $225, something like that, $250 in that range. And then they have another um, line called Linea Maestro, which is a hand-welted uh, construction, and they're a little bit more uh, expensive. But the quality on those is amazing. Uh, I'd love to get myself a pair of those. I just think that these are so great um, for that price, you know, uh, as I said, you don't get this type of detail in anything close to a $200 price range. These also feature a stacked leather sole and full leather lining. Um, they of course also include a single shoe bag. The shoe bag is not a great uh, sort of a canvas material, um, but it's not that important. <clears throat> the suede feels so nice as well. Um, one of the things I did not uh, look into um, is uh, to see if they're pre-treated. Um, if you guys remember the uh, Martin Dingman shoes that I purchased uh, a while back, uh, those came pre-treated as far as water protection goes. So I'm gonna test these out real quick. So I got a little bit of water here. I'm just gonna sprinkle some water on the shoe. Uh, I don't wanna pour some water and make a mess. And it looks like they are. Yeah. In any case, uh, you want to keep these uh, protected. So after a few wears, if you start seeing moisture gathering in your shoe, if you're wearing them out in the rain, you want to use something uh, like this every couple months, every three months uh, to, to keep it uh, protected. I might treat these with this uh, later as well. So anyway, I'm going to move on to the next pair. I've had these for about a couple weeks already, um, but about a month ago, I had been thinking about getting a new, uh, a new pair of white sneakers. I have my, um, my Adidas Stan Smith that I really love, but I really wanted something a little bit cleaner, like just, you know, plain white um, sneaker. And I was looking at brands uh, like Oliver Cabell, uh, you know, Koyo. And I was thinking about dropping, you know, $200, $210 for a new pair of white sneakers, which is a kind of decent price. I had already eliminated uh, common projects because, you know, the price to quality ratio for those is really not great. But then, you know, as I was researching for white sneakers, Thursday Boots announced their new launch for their first sneaker line. And I was so excited. Uh, 
Uh, they came out, uh, like I said, a couple weeks ago on a Thursday. Uh, and uh, the, the, the minute I saw that, I went ahead and, and ordered a pair. And, and the price, $129, guys. That is so amazing. But look at these things. Aren't these great? Oh my God. I just love this profile. It's so clean. Uh, I love that the eyelets are, um, you know, uh, metal and then they're showing through. It's a nice little detail uh, instead of having a, a hidden hidden eyelets. Um, but there isn't much to say about these guys except that, that they're just so nice and so clean. Of course, they're uh, stitched all the way around. These are made in Portugal. So Thursday boots, if you guys don't know, they started a few years ago um, making boots only. Uh, and they were they were making those in Mexico, uh, great quality to price ratio, uh, and and they just kind of skyrocketed, and they came out with their shoe lines, and they have loafers, and they have they they come up with new boots as well. I have a, a pair of their wingtip boots, which are amazing, uh, and I also have a pair of their loafers, which I also love. I've had those for about three three and a half years already, and they're in great shape. I got so excited when I saw that they were launching their sneaker line just as I was thinking about getting a new pair uh, of white sneakers. So these are so amazing. And, uh, and the price guys, I am, you know, I'm blown away by the price. You know, um, Beckett Simonon also makes sneakers. Uh, and if you don't know Beckett Simonon, they're a really good affordable made to order brand. Uh, but even their sneakers are pricier than these. So for this first launch, Thursday came out with five different colors. So they have the, the white sneaker, they have the black sneaker uh, with the white sole, which is also really nice. And uh, they have two other ones, which is a tan and a, uh, and a, a brown. And the, the tan ones, oh my God, they're so cool. I'll put a picture up. Uh, and I think that's gonna be my next purchase uh, uh, sometime soon in the next, in the next uh, maybe next year. Uh, I think I've purchased enough shoes uh, for this year, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a break. So if you're looking to get a pair of sneakers, definitely, definitely check these out. I think, like I said, the, the, the price to quality ratio is amazing. And uh, certainly these as well, definitely worth the price. Uh, also, one of the things I forgot to mention is that the Mirman actually manufactures their shoes in China, but then they're finished off in Spain, and that's how they're able to keep their prices down. Anyway, uh, I'll keep you guys posted on how both of these wear. Uh, check out my Instagram at Kieran Style uh, and please give it a follow. I will definitely be posting some photos of these on there soon. So that's going to be it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe if you like this type of content uh, and I'll see you guys on the next one.